here. Well, hey, hey, model railroaders. Uh, this is Alan of uh, RDA in scale and uh, uh, Alan's trains and things. Uh, the extra little things that we do <clears throat> uh, to uh, make this channel fun. Um, we uh, we went up to <coughs> excuse me we went up to and I'm you might hear me cough a time or two uh, we went up to uh, Deschler, Nebraska and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself I just I have a tendency to do that uh, we went up there and uh, we decided to uh, we went up there to look at the uh, what I had on the layaway uh, we uh, picked up a couple items and we also wanted to uh, get back to uh, doing what I first started out doing when I uh, was uh, building up this uh, layout. Uh, when I first built this layout, uh, of course I was DC, I was just DC then. And it was, uh, uh, as it is now, all Cotto. I mean, all Cotto track, Cotto engines. And uh, mostly, mostly uh, Cotto rolling stock. And uh, uh, what I've got here on my outer track uh, is my, uh, let me go down here, is my older... Uh, my older Intermodal 53s, my BNSF uh, 253 6, I got 618, I got those, that's A, and then this is uh, 253 618, and that's, uh, let's see if this is B, yeah, that's A and B, okay, <clears throat> now, whoops, sorry with the finger, um, I believe I have, let's see if we can find it, I believe I have C as well, for uh, for that there, let me look and see if I do. But then I may not. Let's see. Okay, I've got C uh, for uh, Packer stack, Packer stack train, and I've got uh, uh, C for TTX. Uh, at one time at Cotto, all you could get is. Uh, uh, see well cars and uh, but uh, one thing that you could do <clears throat> with these 53s these 53s usually come in three you know a set of three where you have you have uh, a B and C whereas when you uh, do the uh, 40s you have a you have E you have D you have C and you have B. And so uh, down here, uh, this also is A and B. Uh, and I probably could uh, put in uh, with this one here, with a with a with a pa uh, packer or a pacer stack train. I think it's pacer. I could take this. I could take this C unit here, if it don't fall down, may fall down, may set up here. I could take that and add that in like that, or if I want to, I could get really creative and I could put uh, this in here and really change it up a little bit. We could take, you'd have a uh, pacer. Uh, pacer uh, num uh, A and a Pacer B with a TTXC. You can do that. You can change. You can change. You can change them up and make them really cool. Or you can run just two of them. Um, uh, I didn't know at first if you could do that or not, but a little trial and error, you can do just a little bit of everything. 
one thing that I like about the uh, one thing I like about the uh, Cottos the uh, the Cotto well cars the um, Bethcon coal porters and the other freight cars that Cotto puts out they work with the turnouts so what we're going to do let's see if we're going forward here which we are we are going to pull out or pull up a little bit here with 5380 that's my Jeevo I'm going to pull up here a little bit And I really like those TTX with the uh, one uh, with uh, one uh, uh, network uh, uh, express, the the ocean or the ocean network express. I really like them; they're pretty cool. Uh, and I'll give you guys the numbers here on them in just a second. Okay, now we'll uh, back her up, and they the cars will hook up to my microtrain stuff. So let's uh, put her in reverse. Let's hit number one. And let's see how they back up. I've had them, I, I, backed, it, I backed it up before. So I thought I'd show you guys here. Dakotos do really good. And I hadn't ran these uh, 53s in a while. Uh, I haven't had them on the rails in a while. And they... They seem to be performing pretty good. Now you might see the engine, you know, because there's a little bit of slack. You might see a little bit of jumping a little bit here. But other than that, you know, just like the real thing, you know, you're going to have a little bit of slack. You're going to have a little bit of jump. You're going to have a little bit of, you know, we'll put it right there. And you can see on the, you can see on the, uh, uh, on the well cars, uh, DTTX 759 324, and you can see the load limits there. Uh, wording on here is uh, fairly legible, but not perfect. I mean, I don't know if they changed. This is this is the older cars, and to me, you can see the letters a little bit better. The cars that were made, and I'm trying not to shake this too much, but you used to me, you could see the cars or the lettering on the cars a little better than what with the newer newer ones now. But uh, they're not bad, and they the thing of the the Cottos they pull real good to me. They do, you know, especially going through these turnouts. So uh, that's that's what I like about them. And so I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to show you guys uh, this, and uh, uh, I don't know if there's a bunch of videos on these cars out or not, but I went and picked up a set of them, and whoops, they weren't too bad. They weren't too bad in price, and so let's see if we can pull out without hooking to this uh, green, green here. Yep, I don't want to hook to that. I want to hook to my ones that are out on the main. You can see her going through the turnout there. And they seem to do, be doing pretty good. And this is number four turnout too. Uh, one thing I like about the Cottos, they might, there might be a little bounce in the wheels, but they, what I like about these uh, uh, well cars is they the way the the way the uh, uh, the axle is they have a little bit of spring to them and we'll back here on the main and we'll start another video here in just a second so Stay, t stay tuned for the next one, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to 
slow her down here and then we'll get her ready to hook up to the cars we're gonna pause this and we're gonna talk to mom just a minute so hang on mom okay hang on fellers be right back okay now let's see if we can hook up let's see if we can hook up uh intermodal to a uh, green car let's see if we got a I think we got a good lock these I tend to be hooking up pretty good I mean I mean I know it's I know it's Cotto sorry for the shake I know it's Cotto and it's you know, they're not the best couplers in the world, but they do not bad. All right. Now, now we got a little bit longer train to work with here. Giro's ready to hit down the track here. Fourteen speed steps, fifteen speed steps, sixteen speed steps. And we got the beacon on the uh, tail thread lit up on the uh, Southern Pacific there. And let's uh, lose that bell. Now, we have a train. Now, I mean, we have a pretty darn cool train. Pacer Stack. One uh, network, our Ocean Network Express. Our one Ocean Network Express. CSX, UMAX, and CSX there. And then we got some green. This is a mixture. This is what you see coming through my area. Even these little forts right here. These little uh ones like that these little small ones especially the southern pacific one right there we have that i've seen that one come through maybe not the road numbers but this is what comes through here uh, uh i don't have my auto racks uh hooked to the to the train but uh 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 what you see here sometimes you know you'll see a little mixture of everything you'll see the uh you'll see the intermodals and we'll uh we'll stretch uh uh the Jivo's legs here. And I guarantee you what, when I've been filming, especially up there at uh 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 Sand Hills uh State Park, uh when they're pulling the hill, I guarantee you what, uh, they're pulling hard when they're pulling that hill, and they're not going very fast, but when they get past that crossing about a mile, mile and a half, call it two, uh, they light those engines up. And, of course, I don't have a DPU on here, uh, and I've just got the Jeevo pulling, but I'm just kind of pulling a small deal of cars here. But, uh, you know, that's what you see lots of times, the Jeevos or the C44 uh, ACs uh, running through here. And sorry for my, I put my hand in front of the camera again. Um, uh, I'm probably going to do some more filming. And, you know, I've done this because I wanted to show uh, uh, 
the uh, uh, the one uh, Ocean Network cars that I got. And I thought they were pretty sharp. And uh, kind of, uh, you know, get the... Get the intermodals back on my uh, layout again, because I, I had them, and then I basically quit doing them for a while, and I was doing the indiv individuals, and I thought, hey, I'm going to go back to some Kados and that, and Kados are neat, because uh, you can put uh, sets together and uh, make a, you know, pretty pretty neat train with them, and these work pretty good with the, uh, uh, you know, uh, with the... Uh, uh, my micro trains. Sorry, I didn't get that out right away. My micro trains, and uh, uh, we get excited a little bit. You know, something new. You get a little excited, and there's one thing to get excited about. That's my Illinois Central Golf. That's my new car, and uh, this right here is my uh, Conagra. Of course, I had to do a little bit of work on it before I even got the. I haven't put it on the layout yet. Those metal wheels are going to go off. Some uh, Cotto, I mean, some uh, micro trains uh, plastic wheels are going to go on there just like the other one. And I had to do a little gluing already. So that's what happens when you buy. <laughs> that's what happens when you buy new new stuff or whatever. But we went up there and we looked at the. Uh, <coughs> we went up there and looked at the uh, 4018 that's uh, sitting up there. Uh, Awaiting, you know, awaiting me to uh, come up and pick it up. My uh, uh, big boy 4018, uh, not 4014. It's the the uh, 4018, uh, and uh, we're going to. Uh, it's it does have a uh, cold tender on it, and so uh, uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice little, uh, pretty nice little steam engine, and uh, got a couple other things up there. And so, uh, the train show is going on at Spring Creek and uh, Deschler, Nebraska. Spring Creek Model Trains in Deschler, Nebraska, the 24th and 25th of this month. They're going to have booths up there. They're going to have clinics up there. They're going to have lots of layouts up there, and I'm sure they'll have hamburgers, hot dogs, and all that good stuff or whatever that if you get hungry. So, if you're, you know, can make it to the train show, go attend the train show and have some fun. And you might see me up there, and you can say, hey, and I'll say, hey. And, uh, I don't know, might take one of my trains up there and ask one of those guys up there if I can run my train on their layout. Who knows? But, uh... Anyway, uh, we're going to uh, add a little bit more to this, and I uh, want you guys to follow along here. The GVO's pulling nice and good, sounding good, and uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. The ones that have subscribed, we thank you. Give us a like, and uh, you know, ring that bell, and uh, uh, we'll see you on the next one, which won't be too long away from now. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> okay guys i'm gonna do the third installment here just wanted to show you guys here um what i picked up at spring creek uh the gunderson max gunderson max maxi dash ones double stack ttx new logo 75932 with one containers 106-6196 and if you want to see the numbers there 011-0811 lot uh, four one one oh one one two. Red uh, red label is the final price that you pay. Um, and then it tells you how to tells you how to hook them up. Uh, you know how to hook them up in sequence A E D C and B. And it tells you right there. You know your or your hole marks and stuff like that and how to how to hook them up they're not that hard they're not too hard to hook up i mean they're i mean uh, uh i mean they can be a little bit difficult but they're not so bad like you can see mine right there if i don't drop the camera of 
course you can always see the lint and everything else that I got on the uh, this plastic just loves to track that stuff try to keep that try to keep that off and keep it off my rails and we'll we'll move her forward you can hear the uh, hear the compressor kicking up on the Jivo laser forward here so you guys can see you can see the how those connect together that's how they connect like that and they swivel and like I said these uh, these trucks that's what I like about the Kato's the trucks act just like little springs so that when you're going over the you know when you're going over the uh, uh, your turnouts and stuff like that they tend to pivot with the turnout. I mean, they just they act just about like the real one. They got like uh, uh, springs that react, uh, or the plastic acts kind of like a spring that helps the that helps the truck, uh, you know, follow the contour of the of the turnout. So that keeps the aromas down, and uh, to me, they do very very well. And we'll pull this forward here a little bit further. I like how the five sets, uh, the five sets, how they hook together. And I've, when filming, I've uh, seen these go by several, several times. Look at my videos, and you can see the uh, uh, the steps there in between each one of the well cars, and right there. And like I said on my uh, first video, you can see really good right there how that hooks into um, the the longer the longer portion the longer portion or the B side like on here if I can get her in if I can get her to focus the longer portion of uh, the uh, the maxi fits up into the uh, the truck. Let's see if I can kick the flash on. Uh, I might be able to show. I don't know if you can see this on here. Um, if this will focus or not. The longer portion fits into that side of the slot. If I turn it like this, and if this focuses, maybe I'll have to put my hand hand here to help it focus. The shorter end takes, the shorter end here, right there, takes the little stubby, the little short stubby end of the, of the, of the Gunderson. And so how that, that's how that goes. Like I say, I could take this, I could take this C TTX and put that in between uh, my BNSF uh, wells, or I could put it between, I could put it between uh, my uh, Pacer stack, and uh, and uh, make it kind of unique. I don't think it would work with the five at all. I mean, I mean, anything could be possible, but I'm not going to try that. But uh, uh, this is kind of neat, uh, cause it looks, you know, the way those run, uh, together, uh, they run, you know, really good, you know, together, you know, they don't seem to wobble too much, maybe a little bit. Uh, they, uh, they do really good on the, they really do good on the rail. And, uh, it's been a while since I've had these, so, uh, I decided, well, for 120 bucks, uh, I'll uh, get me a set of them. Uh, the Pink One Ocean Network uh, intermodal container. It sits on, I believe, or sits in BNSF oil cars. And they, and uh, I also seen some Maersk, and then uh, I think I seen some other ones up there older style ones or whatever and that but what's neat is when you can intermix these 
and uh, if you know if you want to do that or if that's what you're into doing and you're mixing these but it's kind of nice to see them also you know all together like this as one as one thing and uh, to have them running together uh, behind one of my engines pretty cool and they do pretty good because uh, the the Cotto engines that I that I'm running has uh, the Cotto coupler so they seem to work uh, really good with them but uh, uh, my uh, Conagra car we're gonna fix that up uh, we're gonna put some uh, um, we are going to put the microtrains wheels on there I have a set on that car right there and it done very very well with those uh, the uh, the microtrains wheels the plastic wheels fit in them very good those are basically what those are uh, are the Atlas uh, Atlas makes those uh, but they used to be uh, uh, made by uh, uh, trying to think of the name uh, let me see a minute here hang on okay what I was thinking was BMLA but it uh, sometimes when you're trying to <laughs> when you're trying to bring these words to mind it takes a little bit to uh, get your mind to uh, re-register what they are I mean it's uh, sometimes, sometimes when you get a little older, older too, and I'm not saying that this is a, uh, you know, that that can be a problem, but sometimes, you know, trying to remember, trying to remember that all the names and stuff like that, it uh, takes you a little bit to, you know, to remember what was what. But those, uh, these wheels that are on here are, uh, if you can see these here. These are BML, BMLA, and you might be able to see, you might actually have them on there. That might actually be printed in there. Let's see if it is. Yep, BMLA. They actually still use a BMLA uh, printing on them. So, that is Atlas with BMLA uh, metal wheels in there. But we're gonna change them to uh, we're gonna change them to uh, uh, microtrains plastic. They'll roll a little better. I feel that they will. Uh, they do uh, in uh, that car that I mentioned down there and my uh, refrigerator. So with that, uh, we will uh, end this and put this video together. And we will do some more running and show a little bit more here in a little bit. And I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, seeing my new uh, intermodal cars. And so, and I like I say, showing off my old older Pacer stack train. And I I did see some up there, so they still have those uh, have some available in the new number. So uh, you can get some of them up there at Spring Creek. So. Guys, thanks for watching, and subscribe uh, Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, give me a like and the thumbs up. If you have subscribed, we thank you for watching the RDA InScale channel. We'll see you. Take care, y'all.